what's going on guys your boy terabyte reacts here and we are back with another hunter hunter reaction today we're gonna start out with episode 18 i think 18 is it 18 let me check yeah 18 episode 18 so we're gonna pick up where we left off where they are stuck in the cave they can't get out because the snakes are blocking the the entrance and the guy who's controlled the snakes dead he's dead the girl is stuck in there the girl the girl is stuck in there she can't get out i think um that girl is leorio's target so he has to get that tag ah uh, and they're trying to they're trying to get out and they have to figure out how to get out because they can stay in there forever <laughs> but interestingly enough in the last the last reaction we got to see gun go up against isoka he got the tag but he got shot down by the guy that was hunting him um also um isoka made him a promise is is just like you can only give me back that tag you can only give me um that give me back that tag when, when you're able to hit me in the face now to address certain things that have been going on in the comment section as i love to do um a lot of people have tried to correct me on the whole um his soka and the little boys thing and i'm just saying it's it's a very fine line that they're playing with when it comes on to the difference between having a a lust um, for little boys and a lust for fighting is a very thin line that they that they're playing with in the anime. Let's be real about it. Like if you actually watch the anime, it's not. It just doesn't come off as just oh, I want to see them develop so that I can fight them and kill them in the future. It's not. It, it just doesn't seem like that. You get what I'm saying? Like the way how it is, the way how it's written and the way how it's conveyed in the anime. Because maybe in the manga, it's a little bit different because you can't really see and facial expression and, and stuff like that in the manga. But in the anime, it just, they're playing with a very thin line and it just comes off as both. And that's just what I'm saying. It comes off as both. Um, some people are saying it's he it just has a, a very strong lust for fighting. He gets turned on by it and stuff like that, which is fine. I have no problem with that. But the way how they're playing with it, it just that is not it's not a hundred percent clear that it's going in that that that's the direction. That's just what I'm saying. It just kind of seems kind of buggy. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes on to how he looks at gun and the emotion it's the emotion on his face the way how they he licks his lips and it just it doesn't come off right that's all i'm trying to say so for all of you guys that are thinking that i'm thinking that it's just the lust of boy i know he has some sort of affinity for uh, having a lust for fighting i know that so i'm not disputing that it's just that you have to acknowledge the other part of it, too, if you're going to acknowledge this part, because that part, as I said, it's a very thin line. So, um, we're going to jump into these reactions today, man. You guys know what's going on. I want to see if they get out of this cave. Um, Killua is sauce, as we always knew. Um, kick those those brothers' butts that came at him and trick um, the ninja dude. So, we're going to see what happens today, how they get out of this cave. I'm going to tr try my best to do more than three episodes today. I'm going to try to go for four, maybe even five. So, thank if you only get three, then you only get three. Whatever. That's, my <laughs> That's the thing. So, thank you guys for watching as always. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so here we are with the review of episodes, what is it, 18 through 21, I think. 
Yeah, 18 to 21. Yes, that's it. 18 to 21. And some pretty cool episodes, man. I kind of talked about a lot of things that I probably won't go over again. You know, after the end of each episode, I kind of gave you guys my thoughts on certain things. I'm not going to really repeat it in the review. Um, just going to let you guys know, man, this was this anime is it's awesome. It's awesome. It's a really well written anime and they're taking their time and the pace is really good. Finding out there at the end that the under exam is not exactly over. Um, so there's another aspect to come. I guess something will happen in the real world that they're going to have to deal with um, to really truly prove themselves as a hunter. Like the license is not the end of the exam which is really cool um the thing we're gone um when after what's his name illumi illumi um kill was brother um broke his arm by just gripping it that was dope um we all know gun is he's strong we know that he's strong he brought three three people out of a cave by himself while holding his breath. Do I need to repeat that? Do I need to repeat that? It sounds ridiculous. But it happened. <laughs> right? So. He's a monster already. Everybody realizing how special he is. So I'm digging it. Um, the situation that went down with Killua. Very sad situation. Um, we all know if he takes the exam over. He's probably going to breeze through it. Um, but he had fun and that's the, that's the thing about it. He, he, ha he was having fun up until whatever his brother did to him. I really do feel like he did hypnotize Killua to do some stupid shit. Um, or it could just be the manipulation of his voice. I don't know what it is, but something happened that was out of the ordinary. Why would he interrupt a match to kill someone? You get what I'm saying? Like. Was he trying to protect Leorio as Leorio was trying to to appeal? I, I don't know. I don't know. You know? So, it's it's yet to, to be seen what's going to happen next. They're off to actually go and get back um, Killua. Will Killua want to go with them? Who the hell knows? <laughs> right? Um, that's his... They're friends, man. Why did he go home in the first place? Like, that's that's another question, too. Like, why did he go home in the first place? Like, doesn't seem like the type of thing he would do. But at the same time, you know, did he actually believe what his brother said? You know, like he, that he'll always be a killer, whatever the situation is. So, I guess we'll get to see that in the upcoming episodes, man. These four episodes was, was really good. I liked them. I liked them. Liked them a lot. Um, as I said, man, this anime, you got to pay attention to to really what's going on because the story is picking up, um, getting a little bit more information about his dad. His dad is, um, I mean, Gun's dad, um, Jing, 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 Jing Freaks, right? Turns out he'll probably be a dope character once we get to meet him. I mean, other than the fact that he's a deadbeat. You know, leaving his son at home and just, just born and, and you know, go out to do whatever he has to do. You know what I'm saying? Not taking the son with him. And and for whatever situation, you know, God is trying to find him. Um, so when it comes on to that, I get, I'm guessing that they're going to explain this some way, somehow of why this happened, why he had to leave. You know what I'm saying? S something of the sort, um, an explanation is necessary for that or to to understand what are his motives behind leaving a newborn with somebody else so you can go play hunter. Well, not really play hunter, but you get the point I'm trying to make. Um, uh, so, but he's, he, his information is highly classified. So I'm thinking... Um, He's up there in importance. You get what I'm saying? Like he's up there. He's one of the the top dogs, top hunters, because everybody knows him pretty much. His his legend is real. 
you know so and it's fascinating too you know what i'm saying i you know kind of reminds me i use i know i use naruto as a lot a lot when it comes on to um to examples that's because i've watched naruto over 20 times so there's a lot of stuff in it that i've learned over the years and i can reference a, a lot of things that i see based on, on naruto i could use other anime but you guys should know by now how much i love naruto so it reminds me of the lore of madara uchiha and and hashirama it's it reminds me of that kind of lore where you've never seen them but you kind of get the idea that these two guys were the ultimate sauce, man. They're the ultimate sauce. Barbecue, anything, any kind of sauce, soy, any kind of sauce you could think of. These guys were it. And that's that's how Jing or Jing is coming off to me right now when it comes on to the lure of him. It's just like so many people. Well, not so many people. People has talked about him. Um, in the sense of once they meet his son, they're like, oh, so this is his, his seedling. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know how sauce your daddy is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's how it is, man. So I, I'm loving that aspect of it. Um, so thank you guys for watching as always, man. It's been great. These two, these um, four episodes was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction and I will talk to you guys another time later just remember to like and subscribe and also you are terror squad i am terabyte reacts and i will see you guys on thursday for the next reaction peace